Today, the parsnip is not as nearly as well known or as well used as it was centuries ago. And even among those who consume the roots today, many of them don't know that the leaves are also edible. Now, I've done videos in the past about consuming the leaves and kind of what they taste like and things of that nature, but I haven't really done too much experimentation with how to use the leaves or how to incorporate them into different kinds of foods or how to prepare the leaves and save them for over the winter time. So basically, I'm just going to give a brief overview of what I'm kind of experimenting with right now with these parsnip leaves, preparing them and preserving them for over the winter and things of that nature. So of course the parsnip plant overall is just a really cool, really useful plant to have in the garden. I've eaten the roots, the leaves, I've used the seeds as seasoning. The roots can help break up soil compaction and help to benefit soil health. And because the parsnip plant is a biennial, if allowed to flower, these parsnip plants will flower and they will attract all kinds of different beneficial insects and that will help with different kinds of pest control and uh, supporting the lives of pollinators and so it's just a really great plant all around that can benefit not just um, you or me but also the uh, ecosystem in which it is surrounded by. Now of course I do want to make a quick side note that the parsnip plant is in the carrot family, right? And a lot of these uh, different plants in this family can look similar, right? So it's always very important to know what plant you're dealing with, be able to positively identify it, being able to use three different sources, whether they're like physical field guides or three different internet sources or whatever that you can use and you can positively know that this plant is what it is, right? You don't want to mistake it with uh, water hemlock or poison hemlock or uh, anything like that because that can have deadly consequences. So whether you're working with the cultivated parsnip or the wild parsnip, both plants are essentially the same. The cultivated plant might produce sweeter roots because it's been uh, bred for that, but uh, largely there's a lot of overlap between how these uh, plants can be used, both the wild plant and the cultivated uh, parsnip. Parsnip leaves are basically available all year round, right? From the time they sprout from seeds in the uh, spring, uh, all through the summer, and into the fall, and even during the winter when there's snow cover and ice and all that, you can usually dig down and find green parsnip leaves in most climates. And usually early in the spring, uh, when that plant is preparing to flower in that second year, um, it will produce some new leaves as well early in the spring that are harvestable if you choose to use them that way. So basically what I've done is this year I have, I harvested some parsnip leaves back in the fall and I dried those. And then I also came back and harvested some more leaves um, in the winter time around, uh, you know, late December or so and I dried those as well. I found that the parsnip leaves, when consumed fresh, do kind of have a fairly strong flavor. And I thought, well, it might be kind of interesting to use it as a spice or seasoning, right? So I know people will use parsley leaves as a dried herb, right? And they will uh, add those to soups and stews and all kinds of different dishes. And so I thought, well, I wonder if I can do the same thing with parsnip leaves. Dry them down into like a bit of a coarse powder and you add that to different kinds of dishes. And so it does add a very nice flavor, a very nice spice to, right, hummuses I've made, soups, right? There's so much room for uh, continued experimentation uh, with using them into different dishes. But all in all, I've found that I can use the dried parsnip leaves as I would parsley leaves or lavage leaves, lovage, however you pronounce it, I don't know. So thank you so much for checking out this video on dried parsnip leaves. Right, I definitely wanna do more experimentation with this in the future, but I just wanna make this video to kinda of share uh, another use that I've found for the parsnip. As I've said, the parsnip is not a very common plant, but it totally could be. There's no reason why it can't be. And there are many backyard gardeners out there who are, who are always looking for new crops or new uses that can be used for some of these crops that we grow. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care.